All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Sold Out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, presenting the Challenger Monster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. and you saw it right there with that punch. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. 
Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. He got the turtle in that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice hook lands. Big knee to the body. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Again, back into his position. Lee's got his back. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big body kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Straight right, he misses. So he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He is a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Nice body. Kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, huge block! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big leg kick lands. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. Right hand upstairs! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Single collar tie now. Boy tie club. All right, then a left. Beautiful body kick. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Right hand punches a clinch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Slips. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out. And before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Straight right hand now, just misses. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chip? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. The next with a right.
good punch land. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big kick land. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Ooh, what a punch. Just misses there with the left. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's gotta be confident that it's going to land, and he's gotta really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Punch over the top. Single collar tie. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. Great flow right now. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. All right, single collar tie now. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, a huge block there. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punching. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to get too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up with that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tail. Oh, look like that one counted. Nice head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Look at those weapons, look at how he uses his knees to the body. Got clip with the right hand. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give one. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands with the right hand. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hitting bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to fake once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the back. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Nice work. Your cardio is sick. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Great punch landing with so much power. Right hand upstairs. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Let's go. Push one and use that shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Massive head kick. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big roundhouse now just misses. Right hand upstairs. Beautiful kick. And they separate. Beautiful leg kick for him. Switching stances here. Back and forth we go. Looks like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Nice strike. Big head could land. Just misses with the jab there. Not there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. He lands the head kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over. DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, started going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Slips the punch nicely there. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Big body kick lands. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big leg kick lands. He's able to slip the left. Big elbow. Good punch. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab, is something you can't really prepare for. 30 seconds to go here. He 
postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Just a slip there. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Trying to hammer that big play. You don't really stand take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Big body kicks. Just missing on the uppercut there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Straight punch lands. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Just over. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Right hand on point. Right hand, he misses. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Visibly limping here. Looking to counter with his left hand, but he misses. Ooh, what a punch. Single collar tie there. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ooh, you are battering that nose. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. And the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. All 
right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just gonna be one head snapping back. It's gonna be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Nice. Oh, he missed with that right hand. And they separate. Finds a hole for the left hand there. Oh! Oh! Inside his head now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Right punches there. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Liver kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Big power shot there. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Nice punch there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns to the opposite direction and throw your hook in and you start looking to get a choke off. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Beautiful body kicks. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Real sneaky head kick in there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, and he's back up again. I don't think I made it. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, 
he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. instance it most certainly did. Blocks that kick to the body. Well, it's one thing to have length that's enough. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the grounded pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Gets up again here, but hurting. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso. Nasty. Oh, that's a nice strike combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. All right, so an epic 25-minute championship fight here tonight, and it seems like the incumbent has done enough to retain his title. They say every time you're fighting, when you're the champion, you get the biggest, baddest guy in the entire world. So, of course, it's going to be close, but I believe the champ did just enough to retain his title. Like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 48 47, and 48 47. For the winner by unanimous decision, and still. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week. 